Howdy, beautiful Bart here, and welcome. Who we're gonna score? Oh yeah. Um. So what we have is well, let's play it in standalone. We have so far created a really, really simple, cheesy main menu system with a little animated dude right here holding gun pointing at us got me before Bart one of my logos this is part of the tutorial FPS series so settings menu is not working just yet but exit game works and start game will take us right into the first map okay so these cubes purely entertainment purposes we got um, bots that if we're close enough when we shoot them they turn around and come after us they have a hit reaction and a death animation. If they're out of range, we can go into our sniper mode. See the hit reaction, the impact effect, and all that. They don't change colors because they were not close enough. Are we close enough for you? No. Oh, maybe we are. Too bad you're dead anyway. So, let's step it up a little bit more. And... We can hit escape, we have the option to resume playing, a nice background blur, or we can exit the main menu, and start game or exit game, everything works. So, let's actually go to test map, no distractions. Let's get rid of that guy, that was just a level teleporter, and let's play in selected viewport. Okay, so we have no real player HUD. The only thing we have is the crosshair that's in the center of the screen. I've taken apart the original, which was from the FPS um, template, removed it, and replaced it with just their same crosshair. And it's a little on the small side, but whatever. We don't have anything else on our heads-up display. At some point, we want to put in our health bar. Um, might want to put in ammo um, so we know how much ammo we have left things like that but for starters let's go ahead and set up a scoring system and to get started with let's create some variables characters blueprints go into our player underscore base all right so what do we need we need well we can count shots fired we can count um, hits we can track kills so we'll create variables for all of them so this will be shots fired we need to make that an integer and we're gonna leave that defaulted to zero because we haven't fired any shots yet um, we're gonna go ahead and create a category for that and let's create a new one called score and next we want to create a new variable called hits change its category to score and let's do kills we're keeping all these integers because we only need whole numbers here so of those, we've got shots fired, hits, and kills. So in this, we've got all this for our shooting in the red. Somewhere amongst this, we need to come in here, and we need to get shots fired. And we need to set shots fired. So let's just drag this in here. And what we want to do is set our shots fired to shots fired plus. So integer plus integer plus one. So not going to be neat to go in here just yet, but you know what? We can stack them like that and like that. So now every time we pull the trigger, we're going to increase the amount of shots that we fired. 
So we know we got shots fired, hits, and kills. Um, so what we'll have to do is go into our bot because that's our bot, our target, our number one target. And we have our things here on death. We're doing all this stuff right here. So let's actually go in here and stretch that out. I need to probably make some room here. Just so we're, we're keeping things relatively neat. So at this point right here, we are in the death sequence for our bot. So we can set our kills here. So we're going to cast to player underscore base. And we're going to have to get a reference to our player character. And get... player character and I'm just going to stack them because I don't want to get too much in here and run out of room so when we get our player character we need to set kills drag this up here we want to set our kills to our get kills and again we're going to run out of room here and we're going to do plus so integer plus integer so we're going to add one to our kill count whenever we kill our bad guys alright so on here on event on any damage we can actually add this into all this stuff right here. Um, I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to try adding it to the end, see if it actually works there. And let's just paste that in. Connect it. And let's uh, get our hits. And again, plus so integer plus integer and we need to set hits like so so now we can register our hits and hmm, I'm not sure how we're going to do shots fired or um, shots missed So we can just track our shots fired, our shots hit, and our kills. So let's close that down. Let's close that down for right now. And we need a widget. We don't have a player HUD. So we'll go ahead and create one as a player HUD. So we'll just call it that. And we're going to use wid uh, widget. And we'll do W underscore player underscore HUD in our player HUD we want to go ahead and set up an image in the upper right hand corner and we want to kind of make that fill a certain range because we're going to need to add in a few things I'll resize this as I need to and we'll anchor it to the top right the color and opacity. I'm going to set this as black, but I'm going to set the opacity down here, the A or alpha, to 0.5 so it's see through. Now, what I want to do is I want to add in some text. And this is all we need to do is add in text. And I figure what we can do is put here, so kills, shots fired and hits or shots fired um, hits and kills whatever so we'll start off with a bit of text and this text is going to say colon shots fired
So we want it to be there. We could do that the other way around, I guess. But let's anchor it to this side. And I'm going to move this over. So we'll do shots fired, and then we'll put the number here. So I'm going to grab another text, and I'm going to set it right there. Exact same alignment. I'm going to change the text over just to say 999. We shouldn't be firing anything more than 999 rounds. And we'll come back to setting the bindings for it. So now we can just go ahead and do and kind of line it up so that it works this way. And we want to do hits colon and let's anchor it to the right. Let's actually make it shorter. Let's just say shots. So shots, 99 hits want to line it up to where it's directly underneath that one as much as possible. It is slightly going off a little bit, but, you know, that'll be fine. So I'm just going to shrink that down. I'm going to shrink that down. And we're going to grab another text and line it up. Let's actually lower them down a little bit. Just kind of lining off of the top of the S and the top of the H here off of a little line that I have there in the back. So this one we're going to do the same thing and we're going to change the text number to 99. We want to make sure that it's anchored to this way. Anchoring towards the left. And let's actually make it 999, same thing as above. And we want to kind of line them up. Well, lastly, let's go ahead and add in our last line, which is going to be our kills. And anchor to the right. Make it smaller and add in the colon since we want to be the same as everything else. There we go, and we'll add in our number of kills. We'll make that as well, 999. It is anchored to the left, that's good. And we just want to make sure that it's as much in line as the rest of them. Okay, so another thing we do need to make sure we're doing here is go back and anchor this to the top right. Top right. Because if we don't, they're going to be all over the frickin' page. So now that we've got all of these anchored to the top right, we can go ahead and create bindings for them, and I can shrink down this window. Just so it looks pretty equal across the board. Not rocket science, just cosmetic. Alright, so there's that. So the first one, this is our text, 999. Well, it's kind of hard to, to do what, you know, so we'll just go down in line here. It is shots fired. So, let's create a binding. Create binding. Stretch this guy out, stretch this guy out, and since we already had that, we might as well use it. So we can cast our player base, which we need to do. And I'll connect that in just a minute. And I'm going to go ahead and change this so we know what we're working on. Get shots fired. 
Same thing, shots. Get shots fired. And then from here, all we have to do is just connect this directly to here. And then connect this to there. That are it. So let's control C to copy that. So that's how we're going to record our shots fired. And let's save that guy. Go back to our designer. And the next one, number of hits. Create binding. Stretch everything out. Get hits. Connect that. Connect that. Get hits. Connect that. And we're good. And last but not least, go back to our designer one more time. And we want number of kills, so create a binding. Stretch that out. Connect it, connect it. Get kills. Connect that and get kills and that should be it um, we've got our binding we don't need anything in here that's fine so that's going to be displayed right there so we close that let's go back to our character so we've got our shots fire we've got our hits we've got our kills and on begin play we need to go ahead and create a widget so I'm just gonna move these guys out a little bit and then from here actually let's move this guy over too and let's create a widget because we already have our player controller right here and we can do no, not my HUD, you shit monkey. Player HUD, the one we created. And we need one more thing, which is add to viewport. And of course it wants to come off of here. Add to viewport. So connect that and that. We should be good to go. So now when we add our health bar or anything else we want to our player HUD. We already have a base and we already have it set up for event to begin play. So let's see what happens here. Shots. Yay. Yay. It's cutting our shots fired. That's good to go. So let's actually go to level one. I don't need level two build data because we got rid of level two. Come on. Delete that crap now. Faster. Faster, faster, faster. Okay. So now when we get into here and we play. Fired five shots. Only recorded one hit but two kills. It's recording shots fired just fine. Hit, hit, hit. So it's not recording the hits. Recorded the kill, but the kill count is off. So shooting them after they fall over dead is still recording them as kills. So we need to look at that really quickly. Blueprints and our bot base. Hmm. Well, we need to look 
look at the kills. Um, well, since honestly, we're setting it here. Uh, please, just do whatever you're doing. You know, I'm not doing anything important like, I don't know, live streaming. You know, just pause there. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and drag these guys over a little bit. And I'm going to add a do once node in. Because it's okay if I do those because I'm destroying it. So, so you run this do once node here and it'll only do this one time and it should only register the kill one time. So that should rectify that situation. Um, we'll come back and look at the hits here in just a second. So now that's a hit, that's a hit, and it didn't record the hits. Kill. Yep, it fixed that problem, so let's kill somebody else. Yep, that was a kill. It's not registering our hits, so on here, get hits, add one, set hits. Hmm. Oh, we have a do once in here. Um, I'm going to copy this, delete it, and I want this all to go in before the do once. So, it shouldn't matter on anything else, um, on hits, on kill, that shot uh, that's going to be the killing shot is going to be what's going to get recorded there. So it may not be a consistently perfect deal on that. So I'm going to drag these over here. I want to make sure I got enough room for this. And let's see if that actually works now. It gives us a more appropriate hit count. Yep, three hits. Um, the fourth hit is, is actually going to count as a kill. So we'll probably need to go back there and add that in. So even though I fired eight shots, all of them were hits. It only registered six and registered as two kills. So we can now come back in here to the this part right here. And all we need to do is include this right here so we can include the shots hit we can add one to that because we are actually hitting at that point we just needed to make sure that we're recording it correctly so there we need to grab from here connect that and from here to there and that should, in theory, fix the problem. And we now have a system of scoring hits, hit, three, and four. And now let's come over here. One, two, three, and four. So that's all good. Two kills, eight shots, eight hits. Yeah. We're going to miss, 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 miss. Oops, we actually hit him. And three kills times four is 12. So. We now have a simple scoring system. Okay, video's done. See you later. Well, technically speaking, that's what we did here, right? Want to set up a scoring system, a basic scoring system. So we can count our shots hit, shots fired, and however many kills we made. 
What are we going to do with that data besides look at it up there in the upper right hand corner? We can see that we've fired 41 shots, we've had 36 hits, and we've made 9 kills. So, what else can we do with that information? I mean, we've got to be able to do something else with it. Because, you know, that's just pure awesomeness. But, let's do something else with it. I, I just want to do something else. In my assets folder, I can't believe I don't have a gadgets. So, let's create gadgets. And let's create a new blueprint called an actor called um, PP underscore score board. What the heck? Let's make a scoreboard. And before we do anything with that, let's actually go back to our widget for our player HUD and. You know, no, let's just, we'll copy it, because we've got that information there, and we don't need to, to recreate everything. So I'm going to right click, and I am going to duplicate, and I'm going to call this a widget underscore score board, so a scoreboard widget, and it's got all this information right here. Well. We don't need all this stuff here. So let's actually... We want to fit the border. We want to shrink this down to right here. We could actually then import this into any widget that we want. Once we've actually got this, we can record it as a widget. So... We're set at full size or screen size. Um, that's fine, but let's actually grab this information. Let's grab a border. Is it a border that I want? No, it's not a border that I want. It is a canvas panel our canvas panel we want to actually resize um, to transform we already have one canvas panel let's change this to custom And we want to get everything here to fit into our custom panel. All right, we want to, you know what? That'll be good right there. So, this is now our, our canvas panel. We've resized it so that it's actually just this little bit right here. And compile and save. And let's see what we can do with that. So, let's go back to our gadgets folder. Gadgets, not materials. And what can we do with this? Um, let's delete everything so it's not distracting. Let's add a component and all the way at the very, very bottom widget and if we look at our viewport we don't see anything in here right now let's go over here to widget class and widget scoreboard but wait there it is So if I were to compile and save right now and just drop this into the map, there it is. So 
So we can actually drag this scoreboard. See, it's trying to drag the whole full screen there. And we don't have a full screen. We just have this one little small portion. Now there's another way we could have done this. We could have applied this to a material and a render target and that kind of stuff. You can see where it's just starting to go through right here. If we look at that 55, let's try it at negative 62.54. Just want it to be sticking right through. And let's go ahead and go to zero. And since it's offset, I'm going to bring it over a little bit. And let's see what happens when we scale it. So I don't know where zero is. I'm going to throw whatever, just an empty actor in here. And I'm going to zero this. So I have a visual reference. Now I can sort of line it up since it's not center. That's close enough. And then, nope, there we go. Let's try sizing it up to three. So now, will it work? Well, let's hit play and we turn around. And look, shots zero, hits zero, kills zero. So let's make shot, and it's a hit. Two, three, and four. And look, our scoreboard is now viewing right here inside the map. Yes, you can do it much more glorious than that, but it matches what we have in the upper right hand corner. So if we don't want it in there, we can have it on the map itself. Oh no, we're being chased. Get off me, you son of a bitch. So there we go. We have a scoreboard. I don't like that sound file. In the background, it just, there's too much of a pause in the end. So as we're running around doing our little evil deeds of killing all of our lovely bots here. The one thing I do notice here, it's out of range, but look where the bullets are hitting. They're actually hitting zero, zero, zero. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. So all of our same information we put on our, our heads up display is also being scored and shown right there on the wall. And we can put it anywhere we want. So shot 74, hits 56, 14 kills. How many bad guys are actually in the map? Do we have 14? Do we have 15? I think we have 16. So that's 15 kills. So another thing you could actually do, if you wanted to, if you were so inclined, that after you've made your 15 kills or 16 kills or whatever, you win. So essentially what that would mean is using those variables that we have, if kills equal 16, you know, run an event tag, or you run it off of um, anything you need to, and if kills equal 16, then you could actually have it uh, go to a end of the match screen, where a widget would show up, and then you won or whatever and then it has the um, the information of how many shots you fired how many hits you made how many kills you made you could assign a score system and do some math like okay if 
there were 16 kills, and that's times 4, is 64 hits. So, that's a perfect score. So, if kills equal 16, and hits equal 64, and shots fired equal 64, or if hits and shots are equal, equal to each other, then your score is a hundred percent or whatever you could come up with your own um, end sequence so quickly look at that since this was really super quick to, to do um, let's change it to 15 bad guys so you know my OCD will be happy so grab you actually number you number 17 you get to go away but saying that there's 16 now. So th there is no number one anymore. Okay, that's fine. Settle down. Settle down, loser. All right, so with our scoreboard, we have that. That works. It shows our, our stats right there on the, um, the wall. You can put that anywhere you want. Um, go to the player and we can get all this information here from this stuff mm. coffee gotta love it so we can accur accurately track our shots fired our number of hits we've made and accurately accurately track our kills so let's go in here and again we can see one, two, three, and four. Everything matches up. One, two, three, and four. That matches up. So we could actually go off of kills if we want to. When you've made 15 kills, it could then end the match. Twenty twenty five, we are good to go. So come through here, you shoot all your targets. Should be fifteen kills, and I'm gonna try to do a perfect score. So we can look at what it should be. Yes, again, our bots aren't shooting back. They aren't doing anything fancy. They just get to die and be lovely targets. And this will be number 15. Okay, so 60 shots, 60 hits, 15 kills. Oh, we do have an extra. So, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifteen. Uh huh. So you get to go away, and you guys need to go into your home. So there we go. So sixty shots. These need to go into buildings. That can actually go away. We don't need that anymore. And these guys can go away. We don't need those anymore either. So if we have 15, that should be 60 shots. So let's actually. Let's run an event tick. Event tick. Kills. 
and we want to ask do they equal to 15 and if it's true at this point then is where we're going to go ahead and create a new widget we can pause the game do all kinds of lovely stuff here so we're going to end at 15 kills we've won um, so we'll actually do this we'll delay for five seconds then we will do whatever we have to do now so I need to create a widget for that our scoreboard works our individual score works let's go to a widget and create a new widget and this will be w underscore what do we call this um, match result so what we'll do here is let's go to a black screen and we'll anchor this full screen we'll see order this to negative five change the color pure black text let's anchor this to top of the page offset left zero position 32 that's fine offset right zero size 150 that's good and our text here let's go ahead and change this to um, battle results yeah screw it let's make it all caps why not and we want to make sure we anchor this to the center on justification and that's good there So we got battle results. Now we can pull up this information that we've already got from here and you know cast your player base and then get shots fired, hits and kills. Let's put that same information in here. And let's do text. And let's anchor this to the center of the screen. Let you anchor that to the middle. Yeah, let's do it that way. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, add a little bit of something else in here. Let's add another image in, and let's make the color gray and this needs to be anchored to middle of the screen offset left zero position zero offset right zero and size probably end up making this like 300 and position should be negative 150 so now we grab this guy and we'll drag him in here let's try setting 50 this needs to be negative 4 then our text block here Let's go ahead and we're already anchored to the center. Let's worry about what it says first and let's do negative 
number of kills colon and write justified kind of want this centered up so let's try to put this in roughly that position then we'll do another text and we'll make that 50 as well and shots fired colon and we're just going to put the same data in there you know what you know it's 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 fine and got to make sure we anchor that to center that should be already there and that's fine and then one more text hits made right justification font size 50 that needs to be right justification And I'm just eyeballing this. You know, you can spend as much time as you want making this as pretty as you want. I'm just trying to get the point across. After all, this is not a production quality game here. This is just a tutorial game. Anchor it to the center of the screen. And let's go ahead and put in our numbers. You can actually come in here and open up the player HUD and go to the graph and I can actually call up the kills I can just grab all this control C go to my match results let's go ahead and put text numbers in and again let's raise it to 55 or 50 and we'll put in here 999 left justification And we can actually copy and paste this. Let's actually move it over a little bit. Control C and Control V on the canvas panel. And I'll drag this one in. Same thing, click on canvas panel, control V, grab the final one, and there we go. Looks good. So again, I'm just gonna grab all this stuff right here, control C, and this is my number of kills. Go to here, binding, create binding, delete that. Okay, so you don't like me deleting the get text. So we'll come on F2 get kills. Okay. Gotta, excuse me, I was trying not to freaking sneeze, but yeah, that didn't work out too well, did it? Alright, so get our hits. Kills is done. Go back to our designer. And we said this was hits. So let's go ahead and jump to that one. And binding, create binding. And we're going to drag you over here. Delete you. Control V. Why work hard when you don't have to? Compost, save, and this was hits. Get hits. Compost, save, and finally, 
we're left with designer and we need shots fired create binding and get shots delete you and copy you that is that however we probably want to go ahead and do um, a couple more options so if we look at our designer screen um, let's go back and make sure this is center 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 this needs to be anchored middle anchor middle anchor middle and let's put down here at the very bottom let's um, put two different other buttons down and what those buttons will be is replay battle or in fact let me grab these and just to me it needs to be about right there All right, so now at the bottom, let's add in the option to return to main menu or play the, the level again. So play again and exit the main menu. Button, add that to our canvas panel and let's go ahead and Put it here, anchor it to the bottom, and replay button. Add some text to him, and let's change the text to read. Play again. And resize the button. I'll get it in the final position as soon as I make the other one. This button size is offset set left position and size. You know what? I'll just do this. I will right click on this one. I will copy it. And I will paste a copy of it in. Drag it over here like so. And do this. And now I can position them where I want to. And they should both already be anchored. Yes. So let's go ahead and rename this one. menu button and the text main menu so there we have our battle results page number of kills number of shots fired hits made there we go we can play it again or we can actually go back to the main menu so let's go to the design graph let's kill you and kill you and let's do menu button on clicked simple enough open level and I'll retrieve the open level it's gonna be main menu map but let's go ahead and do it let's go to maps F2, control C, hit there. Um, don't need you. And we can just paste you in there, and that is done. Replay button. On clicked. May have to do something else here also, but let's do open level. And again, 
This was level one, F2, control C. Let's save all because it's saying I need to save the frickin' map again. And let's put that in here. So now both of them are gonna do the same thing. One's gonna open the main menu, one's gonna open the replay button. Probably gonna have to come back in here and remove from parent so I can get rid of this and then go back to the menu. Um, let's go back into our player base and event tick if our kills are equal to 15 then create widget and the widget is going to be match results get player controller and we need to add to viewport we need to set input mode to UI only there's our player controller our widget to focus and last but not least set show mouse cursor so we can turn our mouse cursor on um, what may actually happen is whenever we do that it's not going to get rid of our cursor so let's go through here and kill our bad guys doesn't matter how bad my performance is just want to kill the bad guys hey 19 shots 16 hits So we got nine kills. Should be ten, eleven, twelve. Couple more victims here. Thirteen kills. Fourteen, and I think I know where the last bad guy is down the street and to the left right down that road So let's see what happens whenever we actually do that All right, so we've made 15 kills and should wait five seconds and then doop, We have a slight problem there Yeah. Slight problem. So, I know which one's which here. So, okay, it does get rid of it. That's what I needed to see. Match results. Go back to your designer. Why did it overlap you? They're all anchored correctly. So, let's actually just go ahead and you, 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 and you. Eh. Won't let me anchor universally. Okay. So let's anchor to center. Kind of wanted it to work the way I had it, but you know what? You want to be a smack tard that's fine just kind of folded everything on on top of itself so let's actually anchor these two buttons to the bottom center So that should take care of the problem, and now everything should be good. Yeah, that can stay where it is, but yeah, I'm going to leave that where it is. Alright, so we now have a 
end of match results. We have a score system where we can keep tally of a number of shots fired, a number of shots hit. We also have that same scoreboard listed up on the side of the map. And come on over here, Sneaky. So let's get us one more test, and then we'll be into this video. Having that short range just came back to bite us here. Short range in, you know, regular aimed mode. The last thing I'm going to do after I double check this is I am going to change that freaking sound file for the, the background sounds of the map. It's 14. We got one more schmuckerini. There he is. And... 15 kills. Better results. 15 kills, 65 shots fired, 60 hits. And I can play again, or I can go to the main menu. And my mouse cursor is not working. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Set input to UI only. Go into there, go into there, and dumbass. All right, so that, that's fixed. Everything works. Everything's lovely. Except for that stupid background sound, which is here, and city sounds, you got to go away. I have nature sounds. I've got all kind of other stuff. I don't want to put a battlefield sound in here, but... Let's just go with nature sound. Oh, why must you be a pain in the ass? Just get in here. Create a queue. Want you to be looping, and that's all we need. Save, close. And let's go into our blueprint for level and change you out to nature Q. And the volume, I could then jack that back up to 0.4 or 0.5 because the other one was just really freaking loud. All right, that one's better. So the everything is good. You're good. And city sounds, you can die. All right, so that's that. Um, game is is coming along nicely. We've got um, a really crappy map. Uh, we've got 15 bad guys. We've got a scoreboard that's right over here on the wall. We could put this anywhere we want, but we also have it on our player that will record our shots fired, how many times we hit our targets. So if we keep shooting, we could miss. Um, it records the number of kills. Everything works lovely. So let's kill off our bad guys one more time, and let's conclude this video. Hey, kaboo, bitch. All right, so we're clicking along pretty good, I think. Not bad for just, you know, little bits of stuff here and there, and throwing in a feature here and there. So if you want, you can consider this part of the basic training, setting up a simple scoring system. That's 14 kills. As soon as we make our 15th kill right here, 
There, that's 15 kills, 60 hits, 79 shots fired. Um, we could add in some mathematics and say that number of misses, if it's 15 kills, 4 shots to kill, our hits made should be 60, shots fired should be 60, so we had 19 misses. So we could add that in as well, it's basic mathematics. And I can choose to play it again, and it will reload the map from the beginning, or I can select main menu, and it'll go back to the main menu. And I can choose to exit game. So that are that. Hope you guys enjoy watching this. I'm going to actually go back into where I saved the game earlier. And again, I throw this out there. This is the training or tutorial FPS. I'm going to delete the other version. It unzips out to around 600 megabytes, but it compresses into a RAR file down to around 185. So I'm going to go ahead and package the project. If anybody wants to play this as it is, let me know. I will post this on, on Google Drive for now and update it. I may actually use this one as a, a practice for the uploading system onto um, um, itch.io. They have a, a better method for me to upload the entire project and then I can just keep submitting updates and so forth. So we'll see. Um, but let me know. And for anybody who wants to pledge at least $20 donation on PayPal, US currency, I will send them the code for this. Everything that's in here is absolutely free of charge. Everything was built while it was on a stream. So you can just go back and watch the streams and build it along with, with what I'm saying and doing. Um, or you can just make a donation and get the, the current version. So I want to thank everybody for watching, and we will see you guys uh, soon.